everyone, I'm here to show you two projects that I completed. One I completed today, the other one I completed the day before yesterday. And the first one is this cake box. Um, it's for a swap in one of my Facebook groups. And it was supposed to be... I didn't think it, was, it said how many tiers, but... Um, I think average is three tiers for this kind of a project. And I decided to go with the round boxes since they're more cake-like. And I really love the way they came out. I must admit I did try once before to do another uh, different style and it was just a disaster and I was not happy with it. So I had to go search for new boxes and I was happy to find these boxes that already had pattern pattern on it and um, it's perfect Parisian shabby colors and I was like yay so anyways this is the first box and I did add little uh, feet here for height much like a cake um, I would have gone a little bit taller but I'm not sure how I'm gonna ship this right anyway so a little bit taller would have probably been a little bit more difficult but anyways um there's the first box and then that one is filled with goodies because why send the box with no goodies <laughs> um i didn't think we had to send goodies but that's my copy left but um i like to put goodies inside and then here's the second box and I did um, crochet trim all around. Then I added a lot of shabby goodies in here. My partner likes um, pink. So I had to, um, I wanted to do something as pink as possible. And here's the larger box. So I believe this is a 9 inch. A seven inch and a five inch box and this one has uh, I put some art of cake I put some chipboard um, fry boxes with cute little stuff some white tool because that's really fun to use for shabby projects um, yeah, I didn't want to take out everything one by one, but I mostly wanted to show you guys the box. How um, shabby-licious it is. And I just love it. Love, love, love how it came out. I just got to figure out a way of how to put it all together. But anyways, um, I did add also some bows back here with my new bow punch that I got from Stampin' Up and I just uh, I really love this little punch it's so cute and adorable so anyways this is my project one for uh, the swap and then my project two for another group is um, these little altered tin cans and I used the paper line tells of us and I love this little um, embellishments that I have these little blings they're like teardrops and I didn't want to put too much here because I, I didn't want to cover the paper it's so pretty uh, I'm glad I didn't go with the mixed media because it just would have covered everything and this one I added the little is it a boy? The little girl. I don't know, back the Victorian days they wore dresses. <laughs> and then um I just added a little uh, crochet. I didn't have any short crochet trim anymore and I didn't want to put a long one because like I said it would have covered the whole paper. But I thought it looked cute. And then for her, I just I put a little bit of um, some glue sticks, and then I also did a little goodie bag with some flowers, some embellishes, 
add some chipboard from the paper collection and some of the flowers are from the paper collection as well so anyways that's my these are my uh, projects that um, I had been working on and I really enjoy making them I have so much fun altering stuff especially can and uh, cigar boxes. I've never done the round boxes, but I'm happy I did. Now I get to do more. I have to run back and see if there's any more of these boxes. Um, so anyways, uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask and I will answer them. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my playlist, uh, my videos for my birthday challenge. It's almost over. And you guys can get the details on it at says, um, Anna's birthday challenge. So um, you guys still have time to enter if you'd like. All right? Thank you. Bye.